Oh, oh. Hello, semester. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are drawing Atarashigako. You know, I've been wanting to draw fan art for these girls for a while now. However, I've been putting it off because I knew that if I wanted to draw them, it had to be pose heavy. Because if you're not familiar with them, their whole like thing is that they like dance weird. <laughs> Apparently, they formally trained in acrobats or something like that. It's really crazy stuff. But like, yeah, I, I knew that it had to be like a lot of limbs on screen. You know what I mean? However, if you haven't noticed from my incredibly sparse Instagram uploads, then you should know that I haven't been incredibly capable of drawing fully rendered pictures regularly, especially ones that involve a lot of anatomy and four different people and, and expressions and clothes and a background. Have I gone mad? I drew a background for this one! Full transparency though. I traced the background, <laughs> partly because I wanted to study shapes and buildings, other parts mostly because I'm just lazy. <laughs> I mean, this is a speed paint. I pretty much show you a lot of my process. There's not really a point in hiding the fact that I traced this. That's kind of the whole point. Although, although I do edit out some things, like recently I started editing out my sketching process and my line art process. I edit out sketching because it's really embarrassing for me to let you see how many times I undo and undo things. Um, and line art, mostly because there's not a lot of color on screen and it's just not very good for telly. Other than that, I show you everything else. <laughs> But you are not here to listen to me talk about my stupid drawing. You're here to talk about the band. And I'm here to talk about the band too. Atarashi Gakko debuted in 2015, so that was like five years ago. But I found out about them in 2020 the same way that a lot of the overseas fans found out about them, which is the Seishun Academy. Seishun Academy is the series that 88 Rising did to kind of promote their international debut. However, when I, when I, when I first saw like the Seishin videos, I thought that 88 were looking to expand their portfolio of artists just to say, hey, we do comedians now as well. I thought they were a skit group. But no, I was mistaken. They are an idol group. They sing and they dance and the songs in the background of their videos, it's all theirs, baby. And they're all so very, very catchy. <laughs> Or maybe they just get stuck in my head because I literally binge watch their fan cams the first week I found out about them. So much so that I found myself lying awake at 1am and my brain is just playing that bit inside Shujin Rui where they would go and do the chicken dance and lip sync to the guitar sounds. I think about that every day. I'll note that I don't typically listen to music like Atarashi Gakos because I usually listen to songs that generally sound like candy. Have you guys ever listened to Reinich's uh, cover of Stay With Me? Yeah, basically, you know, it, it sounds like eating pop rocks. That's exactly my, what my taste is. And Atarashi Gakos music sounds a little bit more like having a fight scene on a bow. And I don't usually like music like that. but. They seem to have so much fun performing that it's really fun for me to watch them perform. And I have a lot of fun listening to their music because it just makes me feel like super upbeat because they're all upbeat. Even Que Sera Sera, the, the song about feeling slow and sleepy, that one bops hard, right? My favorite songs by them are Tall My Boy, Otona Blue, and Koino Shadanki. I don't know if you care about that, but I mean if you're looking for new music, you can start there. <laughs> I haven't stand a girl group quite this hard in a very long time. In fact, I don't think I've even stand a celebrity quite this hard since my Dove Cameron phase in 2015. I think a lot of the reasons why they're so easy to stand for me can be accredited to the way that they are presented with so much personality. And a lot of the imperfections, they just let add to the charm instead of just hiding it away. And I get that's kind of the point, <laughs> that's kind of their concept, but it does make them feel like a little bit like less untouchable and you can feel like you can totally be their best friends or know people who are best friends with them when the truth is you don't even know their last names. Have I mentioned that this is not professional band review by the way? This is just me like fangirling and using YouTube as an outlet. <laughs>
I cannot stress enough how much I enjoy seeing all four of them together working as a team. Friendship! Um, although that even though that they're not completely uniform, which is ironic because they're wearing uniform like all the time, like almost exclusively, they are still like completely in sync. They kind of feel like a Tetris wall, like a strong Tetris wall. They're really entertaining to see together. I love when they like, whenever like one of them says something or does something and the rest of them like follows along with no question whatsoever. Ooh, and don't even get me started on the choreography. <laughs> Apparently, according to like a paper magazine article, they choreographed these themselves. Which, um, yeah, I, I see that. I can't imagine like Kyle Hanagami being like, I want you to look like you're having chest cramps. I want you to look like you're a fish lying on the floor about to die. Like, <laughs> like I look at their dance moves and I'm like, yeah, yeah, a teenage girl definitely came up with that. Atrashigako definitely came up with that. <laughs> But I'd be lying to you, dear viewer, if I said that I didn't think that this looks cool. <laughs> Just the confidence, the delivery, the skill. Yes, it looks silly at times, but that's part of the experience. I'm not a dancer. I don't know how to talk about dance, so I'll just talk about the ones that I think are cool, so... They have a couple of like low-key theatrical ones. I'm saying theatrical because I saw a comment once about Koegeba that said like this is kind of theatrical <laughs> and I haven't stopped thinking about it because I was like you're right OP give me why not 17 comes to mind for this one it's about feeling left behind and the whole song is based around like a race like a running race so you get these funky little choreo bits where like Rin standing over there Miju's running to catch up Miju is catching up now they're running together they're next to each other wow friendship but Rin is being held back by the Suzuka Kanon barrier so she's like no do you get it? It's because the song is... Do you get it? They have other choreographies where they do this sort of like storytelly imagery type things. Like like the railroad crossing thing in a song about betrayal. Like punching Kanon in the stomach. Like this epic gun move they do with like ties. I don't even know what this last bit in Saishu Jinro is supposed to be. But like, don't you feel some sort of emotion looking at it? <laughs> The list goes on, and it's just like each routine is so like different and unique to each other, and it doesn't even have to be in like the theatrical genre for me to like it. I just like the way it's so wonderful and it's great. The songs that these dances accompany are also like so very good. I'm talking about like their post-2017 music because their 2015 stuff personally just not my thing. But their post-2017 stuff, like the lyrics and like the way that it sounds, it just sounds so like raw. It's just everything, it's like this very good mix between hilarious and like amazing. And I don't know how to explain it, I just really like this band. <laughs> They're really fresh and you can tell that they just really like their job. I love their cartoonish chemistry and I'm really happy that they're getting more popular because I would not have found out about them otherwise because I live under a rock. Actually, I live inside a house, but the house is under a rock and that rock is called the moon. But yeah, um, that's all I've got to say. Go check them out if you want. And it's outro time. So this is the drawing done. Do you like it? I actually like this a lot. I like the way that I made all of their poses kind of intertwine with each other. I like the shading. I like the background, even though I traced it, I think I kind of like worked around it pretty well. There's so much dark blue on screen though, that you can barely see where Suzuka's ass ends and where Miju's hair starts, when really it's... I tried my best to kind of contrast it, but it's really hard to like stay true to the material shade and create contrast. So if anybody knows how to combat differentiating things that are basically the same color, do shoot me a comment because I need help. Thank you! But yeah, thank you so much for letting me talk about my interests. <laughs> um, thank you for liking the picture. Three of the members liked it too, which I'm kind of jazzed about. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and remember Mm, <laughs> Stream 999, bye.